Okay, everyone, we're just going to do this the way we originally intended, um, because that's all the only idea we had before things just got out of control. Um, we're going to show one shot for 40 minutes to create a feature. Um, the idea was that we were brought here, we had one night to shoot a feature, which our professor told us was impossible to do. Um, with 40 minutes being the shortest feature running time, we thought that would be a good idea. Um, so what we were going to do is we were going to show this single shot with this nice uh, atmospheric effect uh, that you're seeing now and maybe change it up every once in a while. But as soon as we got to this house, it went dark outside. The world went ravenous. We barely made it here. I don't even know where to start. We barely made it here. Uh, people were eating each other, uh, ripping into their own chests, eating their intestines. Um, it's a zombie apocalypse, okay? We thought this house would be safe. <laughs> it's not. It's haunted. The whole crew, um, members of the crew have gotten possessed. They're fighting each other. I don't even know how long I could be here. Um, so it's kind of ironic that we have this one shot now. Uh, because this is the only place where it's safe for me. Um, so this is turning into a documentary, it seems. Um, <laughs> I'm still going to try to do the feature because this is uh, helping me keep my sanity right now, but I don't know for how much longer. Um, I'm just going to talk it out and document what's happening. Um, the sound's turned off so I can speak to you now, but I'm hearing uh, zombies mm -hmm. roaring over the gates, um, pawing to get in. Um, you know, the whole house, <sighs> there's ghosts, there's um, the computer got lifted up, the laptop, when we were working on the script, it was hurled right at me just moments before I started shooting this. So one way or another, we're going to get the feature done. Um, if I'm alive within the next 40 minutes, who knows if this will be the horror movie we wanted it to be. Uh, or if it'll be a documentary, um, hopefully not about my own demise, uh, but I don't know what to do, but pick up the camera. So I apologize that you'll have to look at this uh, image for the next 40 minutes, but it's the idea I had, and this is giving me a way to document what's happening. Um, I wish I could show you, but that's just not happening you you wouldn't believe it you would think it was a special effect um i know how the internet is um you know i'm guilty of that myself <sighs> they could see the most real thing in the world and they would still call it fake so here's this shot and as i said ironically this is the only safe ground until the zombies knock it over or Hold on. Okay, I, I, I felt a chill. Okay, I'm walking backwards. Okay, I don't know what happened to the crew. It is just quiet in there. I do not know what to do. It's almost too quiet. Yeah, I'm too scared to go in there, but uh, my name, you know, it's it's almost not important. Um, I'm an amateur filmmaker. I guess you can ascertain that from what I told you about why we're here in the first place. Um, the date is March 16th, 2022. 
Uh, I've always wanted to make films, but uh, not so much that it could potentially cost me my life, as it seems it might now. So I'm just wandering the grounds, and, uh, oh no. Oh no, one of the zombies, it's one with one, it has a single blue eye, and like, jaws, the, the blood's going down their mouth and everything. Uh, the best way I can describe it is piranha teeth. He's watching me, he or she, I, I'm not sure. Um, it's watching me. I'm going to be quiet for a moment here. It's eating. Okay. Okay, I think it got distracted and went running off towards a neighbor. I gotta hide. Okay, I see. It's like a kid's swing set. Maybe back up over here. No! No. Staring at me. There's a whole swarm of them by the fence. It is just a fence. It's a chain link fence. That's keeping them in. <sighs> like I said, I wish I could show you this, but I know I know the world out there wouldn't believe me. <sighs> I don't know if this is happening all around the world and oh my god. It's a member of the crew, she's hitting her head against against the glass. Looks like she has a, a butcher knife in her hand. And it's, it's bloody. It's all over her white blouse. She's staring at me too. I don't know what to do. Looks like there's a gazebo. I could risk opening this door, I see, to the gate. But I don't know if there's the zombies are swarmed out there and ready to attack me. I can't go in the house because I don't know what's going on in there, and you know maybe they turn too. Oh my God! Now I see a face staring at me from the window. It's an eerily similar face. I recognize it. I hope you can hear me. So I think I understand why I'm whispering. I don't want anybody to hear me. Looks like it's mouthing the word death. I don't know if she's hitting her head even more. The glass is... Uh, oh no. She fell through the glass. I really want to drop this camera and run, but where can I go? And if this is the end of the world, there has to be some kind of document. <sighs> How much longer is this going to go on? Is it going to be like this forever? Part of me wants to show you because this could be widespread. Maybe, maybe it's Armageddon. Maybe that explains the ghosts in the house and the zombies, just... All the dead are... Rising up and being reanimated in all their forms. You know, I was never... Never a religious man. Now I wish I was. Sense them. I smell death. I smell rot, maggots, dirt, earth. Everywhere. I want out of here. I want to be at home. The drink in my hand. A 
horror movie on. <sighs> Maybe getting a foot massage. <laughs> but uh, those fantasies aren't going to help me now. I have to survive. I don't know. Maybe I'm going to call off horror movies after this. I hear a bird. A single bird. And all I could think of is, it's a symbol of life. A small symbol of life. Amidst all this death and destruction. When you look at it that way, it's kind of commonplace. I mean, with everything going on in the news. I just, I can't think of that. I have to focus on survival. And now... <sighs> My mind goes to, hasn't that been my life? Just survival. And here I am, torn between zombies and ghosts and possessed crew members who are <laughs> hurling themselves out of glass windows. You know, I chuckle, but it's not funny. I don't know what else to do. That's the only way I know how to relieve the fright wait they're making like a sound out there I think they're saying my name the name I said I wouldn't say because it wouldn't matter just another person but I hear them saying it. Can they talk? Zombies never talked in the movies, but again, that's fiction. That makes me wonder how much preparation do I have for the real world? You know, uh, my life experience is based on film. And here I am in a truly life or death, real life horror movie situation. And that's where my mind goes. <laughs> Again, I laugh, but it's it's just to relieve the stress. I'm still... I'm hiding beneath the gazebo. Because of the way all of... The... Windows, the glass... That you could look out from the house into the backyard, which I'm at now. There is no possible way to see where I'm at. So this is the safest place. I think I'm just going to hide here. Uh, night's continuing to descend. I really don't think I'm going to make it to the morning. <sighs> which makes me happier in a way that I get this. This is cathartic to me. There will be some kind of a record. So I've gone my whole life. You know, I've been a, a writer. Uh, I'm almost 40. And I'm just now trying to be a filmmaker. Um, so many artistic things I wanted to do. Dreams I just threw out the window just because I needed a check. You know, money was always at the forefront. And now here I am, unsure if I'll even... <laughs> Be here for the next sunrise. And that's where my mind goes again. It's it's another one of those funny but not really funny situations. Alright, from where I look I can see a little bit through the gate. I see silhouettes of the zombie bodies. I still hear them uh, possibly saying my name. I don't know if that's just where my brain's going. Um, you know, I've always expected worst case scenario in my life. So maybe it's mental. Maybe it's just another sound that sounds like it. Wait. Oh my god. The door. They're 
pushing at the back door. They are there. I don't know if they were there before or not, but that can easily be broken down. There's nothing. I don't see anything to fight off with. I have a shovel. Uh, I know the golden rule of zombies in horror movies was the head, you know, aim for the head. Who knows, again, who knows if it's like that in real life. I don't know if I'm making any sense to the audience right now. Um, I'm hearing screaming. Screaming through the neighborhood. So it has to at least have gone through the neighborhood. And you know what the irony is? This is the same plot we had for the feature film we were going to record tonight. <laughs> so is this life playing like a little fourth wall trick on me? Um, I don't know. Why do I think these things in moments like this? There's no need to be philosophical. In horror movies, it would just be survive. That's all that would matter. That's, I guess it's all that really does matter in the grand scheme of things. And I don't know how much longer I can talk. I've always been a, a shy person, you know. I couldn't talk for 40 seconds if my life depended on it, let alone 40 minutes. Um, but I'm going to do it because it's bringing me comfort. And I need some kind of record of my life. I know that's how every person feels. They want to be validated. Um, that their life meant something. Um, you know, even if it's in a potentially fatal situation like this. You know, that their death would mean something. But I don't know what to do. There's just this shovel here. There's a couple sticks on the ground. I have nothing to fight with. That lion that you see over there in the right-hand corner, that's too heavy. I've already tried to, to use that and about blew my back out doing it. Oh, no. Now they're saying my name in the house. I imagine they're all dead. It was a crew of six. All my fellow classmates, either dead or turned. And if my theory's right, they'll be coming back soon. If this is Armageddon, and <sighs> that means the lady that broke through the glass. She, she's out here. I gotta move the body. Why didn't I think of that before? Uh, uh, uh. Oh no, I can't lift her. All I see is broken glass and blood on the walls. It's like some kind of satanic symbol. It's the best I have to guess. Oh no, I saw, I'm ducking back in the gazebo. Okay. Ah! Oh no. Oh no, they're trying to break through the house, the walls of the house. The sensible thing would be to put down the camera, but I just can't. I've always wanted to be a horror filmmaker, but never like this. I don't think it's worth it. All right, let me try one more time. Ah! Okay, I'm backing up, backing up. Oh my god. Oh, move. They're eating her. Wait, wait. No, now she's moving. Oh, she is turning back. Oh, they saved me in a way. But how much longer? We 
we can't have any more bodies in there, but they're all, they all have that look in their eyes, the same one as the blue-eyed zombie from earlier. I don't know. Is that a symbol of a, a, an easy way to find out who's zombified? quiet for a moment. I had to have a sip of water. My mouth's getting dry. Drinking this little bottle of water I brought to the set. Like... It doesn't matter. Pretty soon I'll be turning myself. Oh, I felt a shiver. Ever since I was a kid, when I felt that shiver, it meant someone was behind me and they're turning and they're watching me from the other side of the gate. Oh my god. They're watching me. I can't. Can I climb a tree? I guess I can try. There's one over there by the swing set, but I don't know how sturdy it is. Wait till they're not near the window. Wait, there's a crashing in the house. Okay, they all scattered. Here I go. <laughs> ah. Uh, all right. I'm up. I'm elevated a little bit. What can I see? The schoolyard is to the immediate right of me, and that's overrun with zombies. I can see a little bit over the neighbor's fence on the left side and the right. Yeah, no luck there. I'm completely out of luck. I'm, I'm stranded. This is as high as I can go, at least if I... I stay up here. <sighs> I have a little bit of a fighting chance. Maybe police will come. Maybe they're all turned. Um, I don't know. I just don't know, man. I'm feeling that, that chill in my spine again. They're eating. All of them, all of them are eating. They eat their own, their own kind. There's no possible way that... Yeah, that's not like the movies. Um, there's no possible way that I could survive long enough for them to all devour themselves. Even then, we don't know what caused it. Is it something in the air? Is it uh, some pollution, a uh, toxin? I have no idea. This happened as soon as we got here. And again, how widespread is this? Now I'm thinking of as a kid when uh, when I asked my dad to build me a tree house. Uh, I enjoyed it so much and who knows that that was possibly how my life was going to end.
Oh no. Oh my god, they broke out. They broke out. They broke down the door. And now they're all wandering out into the backyard. <sighs> There's nowhere for me to hide. They're smelling the grass. And the doors, the, the wall, the fence around me. I'm at a loss for words. I'm so terrified. I can see their the silhouettes of their hands pushing down the walls. <sighs> Somebody save me. Somebody save me. It's not going to happen. I got to do it myself. This is how it ends. Oh my God, this is how it ends. I see nothing. I see no way out of this. another drink like it matters what's wrong with me my mouth is so dry and a weird taste on my tongue am I am I turning I mean is this like the movies where you have to get bit by another zombie I mean real life has completely different rules you know I've, I've alluded to that earlier and if it is something in the air, maybe I'm t turning. Oh, my stomach. I feel like I'm going to throw up. Oh, no. Oh, no. I hope I'm not one of them. Again. What if that was me all along? I'm watching maggots crawl up and down my arms and my legs. I don't have long. They're smelling the ground. So apparently they can't hear me wonder if we did one of the old uh, zombie movie tricks and acted like a zombie and walked among them. No, they would know they're the crew, but is that logical part of their brain still there? Who knows? Why am I doing this? Well, I mean, if anything, we've got 11 more minutes of, of footage and we'd have our feature. <laughs> That's a really dark and depressing joke now. I might not even have 11 minutes to live. <sighs> they're, they're fighting each other. One just punched the other in the face. I mean, I know their names because, again, they're my colleagues, but why does it matter? We're all anonymous in the grand scheme of things, right? Or at least that's how I've always felt. Again, getting philosophical, what's the point? It's a zombie invasion. <sighs> At least I tried. I tried, man. You know, I try to give the world art. I try to give it substance. I try to do something. I try to be a good person. Maybe it doesn't matter. The way the world's turning. Maybe it just doesn't matter. But I have to believe it matters. I can't let the idea of humanity that I've held on to for so long just vanish because things took such a awful turn <laughs> isn't that another all true symbol of life am i making sense anymore <sighs> i'm in a 
tree watching people I admire rip each other's throats out, punch each other in the face, pull into their stomach, remove their organs. The whole world, man. The whole world's just gone crazy. <laughs> I know that's a cliche. I always said when I was a filmmaker, I would try to avoid that as much as possible. But sometimes it's the truth, and sometimes there's just no other way to put it. <sighs> so, I sit here in my final moments before I turn, or <sighs> whatever may happen. Watching chaos descend. Smelling the ground. Their organs are hanging out. How are they? <sighs> I don't know how they're still alive. It's nothing makes sense anymore. But they're on to me. They're following. I think my my scent. And oh, I'll try to move up the tree. Further. Oh no. Oh no, they knocked over the wall. It's going, it's going. I gotta climb up, I gotta climb up. This is all the further I could go. It's knocked down on all sides. They're brawling. They're, they're, yes, it's unmistakable. It's my name. How do they know? How do they all know? Do they have a way of communicating? Is it through grunts or that I'm the, the only one who hasn't turned? Even if that's, in fact, not what I'm doing now, or if, in fact, because I am. The no. No. They're climbing. They're trying to climb. There's one, I don't, it's not from the cast or crew, but he's trying to climb up the tree. And he keeps growling and saying my name and the others back off. Maybe he's the leader of the group? Am I trying to rationalize this too much? I mean, zombies are very animalistic or the possessed. I keep saying zombies, it could be the possessed. It could be Armageddon. I'm up here with my my knees to my chest curled into a ball whispering into my phone <laughs> my sad final moments of life his tongue he's got a giant tongue that's wrapping around the tree like a a snake there's even like a snake sound coming out of it. This is ridiculous. He's got it looks like a human heart in his hand. It's still beating somehow. And now he's took a bite of it. Could it be the sickness? Is he trying to tell us something about the sickness and, and the human heart? The human condition? Am I just looking too deeply into something as I always do? 
trying to find meaning where there is none. Oh. Okay, he threw it at me. Oh no. One's got a saw. How? How do they retain the intelligence? They're trying to saw down the, the branch. Guys, I don't I don't know how much longer I'm gonna make it. Um to my my family and friends, I love you. Um I wish I didn't treat you the way I did. Um my whole life. They're both they're all taking turns sawing down from all sides. There's several, several blades, and <sighs> they're getting fast. They're getting to the trunk fast. They're pushing. They're smart enough to push. I'm not going to be here much longer. Maybe I should just jump down and try to run. It's about to fall over, and they're, they're chanting my name. Looking all around, there's nothing in sight. There is nothing in sight. Zombies are all over the possessed. Again, whatever. Um, all right. So I can't jump. Oh, no. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> no, don't eat me. Oh no, oh God. No, I'm one of you. I'm, I'm your friend. Don't you remember? Don't you remember? I'm your friend. Please, please. We were, we were colleagues. <coughs> Stop. Joking. 